So yeah, going to be uh, a level 7 mage. Wow. So I think uh, she'll have 4th level mage spells available now. So going from 17 hit points to 18. Well, <laughs> can't have everything, I guess. Okay. But yeah, that's probably about as bad as it gets. One point. Okay. Just looking, I think her lure now, 28, is probably equal with Imowin's. For, I think, might be the first time. Not sure about that. Until, uh, Imowin finally levels up. Okay. Alright, so an extra second level slot. Which, I'm not gonna... I didn't actually really think about this, but, uh, I think Mirror Image would make sense, because, uh, she had Invisibility as kind of one of those emergency <laughs> evasive spells. This would be better, because then she'd be able to attack. But I think, uh, she'll keep Invisibility, because I think it's a good utility spell that she can cast even on other party members, um, depending on what's happening. Okay. Yeah, so one fourth level slot available. And I think, actually, um, with fourth and even fifth level mage spells, uh, there's only 12 and 8, respectively, so she's able to learn 14, so she doesn't have to decide which ones, if any, to learn. Actually, I guess... And we'll come back. I think it might pay to maybe learn some of these spells now, free up some inventory. But uh, yeah, with even with the Tales of the Sword Coast expansion, which adds additional spells, I think for fourth level we get seven new ones, including uh, I think one I was interested in. <laughs> Just for uh, laughs, I think it was Polymorph Other. Can even turn your enemies, I think, into a squirrel. Alright. So that suits, uh... Lily's somewhat cruel sense of humor. Alright. So I think what we'll do then is, uh... Let's see, fourth level. And... Any third level that I guess she hasn't learned, is that possible? Let's see, fifth level. Here's one. All right, so... I guess, like I said, uh, I think there's only 12 in existence, so she'll just try to learn each one in turn. Um, remove curse. <laughs> okay. Let's see, dispel magic, which was third level. Okay. Monster summoning two. That will definitely be uh, an advantage. Minor Globe of Invulnerability. Hmm. Mental Domination. I guess she already knows. So let's see. Um. She just learned this one. I think she'll keep that then on hand to cast as a scroll. Spirit armor. Okay. Oh, Faldorn has, uh, okay. Confusion. And Hold Monster is a fifth level. This is Cloud Kill. Okay. So all of these. Simply waiting. Greater Malazan. 
I think that's a new one with the expansion. Let's see. Mirror image. Second level. I'm not even sure <laughs> if she knows that. Protection from lightning. That would be uh, beneficial. Champion strength. That's fifth level. Auto Luke's resilient sphere. That's interesting too because I think you can even cast that on enemies and it prevents them not only from taking damage but from attacking. Alright, she knows this one. Cannot use item. Okay, a little confused why she can't equip Scroll of Mental Domination. Alright, come back to that. Confusion. Greater Malazin. If I'm even pronouncing that right. Yeah, mirror image she knows. I think this is, she'll actually give to, um... Maybe to Dinah here, that might come in handy. Protection from Lightning, which I guess... Maybe these are pre-scrolls, is that possible? I guess so. Okay. I didn't even realize we had five haste scrolls. <laughs> Could have been using those. Especially since I think they uh, haste the entire party. Alright, and here's a fifth level that I guess... I don't want to sort through all this inventory now, but uh, just free up the obvious ones. Alright, so Dine here trying to learn Mirror Image from Lily. Okay. Auto Luke's Resilient Sphere. Nice. Okay, Haste she must know, so I think replace those. This must be a. Uh, it's probably another pre spell, I guess. Defensive harmony. Okay. Okay. So the whole point of this, let's see then. Uh, no, we're not resting right away. I think that'll probably be the most useful, even though <laughs> I think she's curious to try this, but... Because I guess you could use Auto Luke's Resilient Sphere to uh, kind of put one enemy out of many on hold while dealing with another one. That's what it's it sounds like to me. most I care not this way. Okay. So I think uh, Imun's going to go back and see if there's anything beyond the bridge that's worth bringing the entire party for. And hopefully, uh, <laughs> won't alert anybody this time. I think it was trap-free up to the bridge. In fact, over the bridge, right? Although that one doppelganger did spring a trap. Alright, so those two that we just fought weren't part of these at all. It's a little confusing. I'm not sure where they came from then. Alright, so she needs to basically <laughs> sprint to this hallway while checking for traps. I think she just left shadows. Let's see. I think it's alright. Okay. Ah. <sighs> 